Good morning, everyone. Good morning, everyone. This is the Elighten One. The Elighten One, aka God's Child, aka God's Child. Welcome to my page. Welcome to my channel. I'm up early in the morning. And uh, I will show my crib, but it's pretty pretty much junky, pretty much fucked up right now. Normally, I let y'all, I got stuff everywhere, guys. Uh, uh, I'm going to say this to everyone out there. If your crib is spotless and clean every day, you have mental problems, dog. You know, uh, as I come and go to work, I be tired. Go to the gym, go to work, tired. So I don't have time. I don't have a maid to clean up my house. Maybe I need a wife. Maybe I need a girlfriend. Maybe I need someone in my psych. Anyway. All right, guys, let's get down to it. I miss you guys. I'm the Elite One, a.k.a. God's Child, as known as the Tupac Guy. So, you know, they call me the Tupac guy because I did the investigations of Biggie and Tupac. Fuck Diddy. Fuck Shug. But that's not what I'm talking about today. I want to talk to all the black men out there in America that's easily offended by a white man who calls him a nigga. You a nigga. You a buck to big nose nigga. And you are always going to be a nigga. I'm going to get right down to it, guys. First of all, why am to the phrase of sticks and stones may break my bones, but your name, but words would never hurt me. Okay? So, keep this in mind. That the things that people say to you doesn't really apply. I watch a lot of world star hip-hop videos. I watch a lot of videos of watching angry black men or black women who fight ignorant racist white people because they call them a nigga. Well, let me explain something to you guys about white people, some racist white people. See, from what I know, see how junky my shit is? Look at all this. Oh, junk. Oh, eh. <laughs> Draws on the flow. Anyway, I got shit everywhere, y'all. Y'all got to excuse my crib. I got shit. But you know, that's why people watch and fuck with my channel because I'm the light one and they respect and they like my channel. Okay, so here's the deal. Um, white people get off on calling black people the N-word because it makes them mad. They go crazy. They go ape shit and they go crazy. See, the thing about white people, they know we sensitive when, we, when they call us a nigger. I mean, Tupac called people nigga before he died. Nigga. What did Tupac say? Uh, niggas is the guys on the block. N-I-W-G-A is the guys that hang on the block. That's your nigga. The niggers was the guys that hung with the rope in the woods somewhere in Alabama, Mississippi, or somewhere like that. However, we shouldn't use that word, period. What's up, nigga? My nigga. Even Puerto Rican said, what up, nigga? What up, nigga? You know what I'm saying? So, let's get back down to it. White people use that word towards black people to get a reaction out of them. And black people go crazy. Some black folks lose their motherfucking mouth. Who the fuck you call a nigga? White folks get off on that. Keep this in mind. White folks, racist white people get off on your reaction. If your color is the same as mine, lighter or darker, if you allow... A stupid white person, redneck, hillbilly, whatever, corporate America, uh, coffee. Coffee causes heartburn. You didn't know that, did you? And I'm steady drinking this shit. Be brave and go your own way, people. So, as you watch these videos, you'll see white people... Racist white people correction trolling. I saw a video the other day of a white man standing out in the middle of the street just calling nigger, 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 fuck these nigger, fuck these nigger, fuck these nigger, fuck these nigger. And you know what? When a black guy approached him or whatever, uh, that made that white man day. See, guys, you have to ignore the ignorance, okay? See, like, you know, do the thing like Mal uh, not Malcolm, I'm sorry, as Dr. King did, you know, peace. You have to ignore the ignorance, okay? 
But you got to have a Dr. King in you as well as a Malcolm X in you, okay? Because Malcolm X didn't play that. Malcolm X said that, hey, don't put your hands on me. I won't put your hands on you. If you sick that dog on me, I'm going to kill you and the dog. That was his mentality. See, people got Malcolm X confused. They said, oh, he was angry. Oh, he was this. He was a terrorist. He was angry. Nah. Malcolm X's philosophy was leave my people alone. You're not going to brutalize my people. You're not going to harass my people. You're going to give my people the same respect as we give your people. That was the uh, Mal uh, Malcolm X philosophy was. And I agree with that 100 percent. Don't put your hands on me. So anyway, so back to Dr. King as well. So Dr. King had this this idea of I have a dream and we all should come together and yada, yada, yada. Well, yes and no. I say yes and no because I'm going to tell you something. Because there are a lot of white people who do not like African Americans. They can't stand us. They hate us. They only tolerate us because they want to use us or they need us. That's, that's, I believe, now don't get me wrong, don't get me wrong, all white people are not racist, I'm just saying there are white people out there who can't stand our black asses, and they wish they, they wish they could put us back in slavery just like that, and if you work for someone, and they working you hard, you're not getting paid, that's slavery, that's modern day slavery, that's why black people had to go to school, get a trade, get a good education, and if you go into the prison system, that's slavery, because you had got no rights in prison, zero, nada, nothing. So Dr. King's philosophy was, you know, we're going to turn the other cheek. Nah, that shit don't work for me. So when a white man or a white woman says the N-word to you, you have to be the intelligent Negro African American American person, male or female, and ignore them. It works. You have to you, you guys listen to me. I'm drinking this coffee. Hold on. You have to use reverse psychology. My house need to be cleaned up. You have to use reverse psychology, people. Reverse psychology. Think about it. You know what I'm saying? You have to use reverse psychology. If you sit there and let this man or woman troll you and you go off, hit this person, beat this person, whatever. What they say, uh, I think I heard or read somewhere that an African-American guy going to prison because he hit a white person and that white person died or something like that. Now that man going to jail for manslaughter for what? For something he could have walked away from. And I'm going to tell y'all something. I'm going to tell you a little secret. There are racist white people that was willing to take an ass whooping just to get that uh, 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 riot out you. To get you mad, get you angry. They take that ass whooping. Because you ain't that strong. You hit that white man, he fall out. They faking. They take that punch and because they got their reaction out you. See, once... A white person gets you to a rate of anger and fight. You notice they all fall out and they just pass out like they, no, they faking because they don't accomplish their goal was to piss you off. There are white people who sit and think like, we finna go out and make some niggers mad today. I saw a video and somebody uh, hit me up on the link. It was a video at a Waffle House. It was a group of white people sitting at a table at a Waffle House. Uh, somebody, somebody found that for me at a Waffle House, and the white people was dropping the N word, calling the nigger and stuff. And so, when the black man walked over to the table to confront them, then the white boy said, oh, "We were just playing. We were just playing." And in the midst of the black man complaining, telling the dude, "You being disrespectful, man. You being disrespectful." In the midst of it. He was still trying to talk shit to the black man because why? He's willing to take a punch to send you to jail. Okay? Ignore the ignorance, okay? In the midst of it, wait a minute, my, wait a minute. My floor is squeaking. Man, 
he need to clean up his crib bad y'all so anyway so i've been busy doing some things guys i did a public speaking on health and fitness if you're 40 and older and you look good like me 40 and older make sure you check on your a1c level check your a1c level if you don't know what it is google it your a1c level is a matter of life and death keep your numbers in the fives not the six not the seven not the eighth you don't want to be pre-diabetes and you definitely want diabetes so make sure you check on your a1c that's the enlightened one okay so moving on there are white people racist white people see i'm not they are racist white people that's willing to take an ass whooping to send you to jail and laugh at you. They'll sit there in the hospital with an ice pack on their eye. Oh, yeah, well, I sure got that dick. I sure got that dick. What happened to you? A nigga beat me up. What happened? I call him a nigga beat me up. And they laugh. They think that's a joke to them. I'm trying to teach you how to use this. Okay? Use this. As long as that white man or woman don't put their hands on you, freedom of speech. Freedom of speech. As long as they don't put their hands on you. Now, once they get in your personal space, take a step back. Man, woman, don't get in my space. If they step back in your space, you tear their ass off. I said it. Because once they get in your space, I'm going to tell you something about the law. Because I know a little bit about the law. Once they get in your personal space, you take a step back. Keep them at an arm's distance length. Say, don't, don't walk up on me, man. You're in my space. And if they say, well, what you going to do? Do it to him. Do it to him. Do it to him. I bail you out my damn self. Man, what you going to do? Man? Shit. Call the police. Beat the fuck out of him. Go ape shit. Because they in your space. Do not let nobody get in your space. Teach your kids that. There's an arm distance lift. You know, hey, man, you know, ho, 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 ho. You in my space. Well, what you going to do? Get him out your space. Tell the police, say, hey, he got in my space. <laughs> Beat the shit out of him. Long as they don't touch you. As long as they don't put their hands on you, you beat that. Look at that. I got all that shit on my man. Lord have mercy. Is there hot? This there hot in the house tonight? Be brave going your way, black people. 12 minutes and 49 seconds after the hour. 12 minutes and 52 seconds. I'm sorry, 54, 55, 50. Anyway. This is the enlightened one, a.k.a. God's child. I hope my message reached you. We got to reach one and teach one. You know what, guys? Like, share, subscribe on my page. Thank you, everyone out there for the support. Thank you, everyone who like, who share, who subscribe. I appreciate you all, and I am back. I'm a clean up. I'm a clean up. I'm a clean up. I'm a clean up. Clean up. I gotta go. <laughs> Peace.